animals. You can tell the, the diet of an animal, the age of an animal, um, uh, very much about an animal. And it, for instance, here's a tooth here. I was using my sister, and I found this down in Florida. Now I looked at it, and let's see if we can be uh, detectives here for a second. This is a flat top to the tooth. What do you think his diet would have been? Anybody? Yes? Plants. Very good. Plants. The plant eater has a flat tooth. And this tooth around my neck is very sharp, like a knife. And serrated, they call it. It has jagged edges. What do you think his diet would have been? Meat. 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 Yes. Meat. Very good. There's a difference between plant eaters and meat eaters. Now, plant eaters are considered herbivores. Meat eaters are considered carnivores. What are we? We both. We have sharp teeth in front and flat teeth in the back. Yes? Omnivores. Omnivores. Right. Good job. So you can tell quite a bit by the teeth. And speaking of teeth, this is one of my favorite species to find. I think somebody mentioned what they knew what it was. Does anybody know what type of tooth this is? Oh. How about what? And I got it. Yes. You got it. Right. Yes. It's a shark tooth. And as I did some research on sharks, because I was scuba diving with them, I wanted to know about, you know, how they're going to react. I found out that sharks have actually been in the oceans longer than the dinosaurs, <coughs> almost 400 million years. And I was finding a lot of these sharks' teeth, but I didn't find any shark bones. Why wouldn't you find shark bones if you were fossil hunting? Yes? They don't have bones. They're all cartilage. Excellent. Good job. Excellent answer. And he's absolutely right. The shark skeleton is made of cartilage. Do we have cartilage in our body? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In our noses, in our ears. It's flexible. And I brought in this modern day shark jaw. It's not fossilized. You see these teeth haven't turned to the color of dirt. They're still white. Uh, modern shark's teeth are white. But I brought in this shark jaw to show you something. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, you couldn't do that with a bone jaw. Now, another thing I was thinking, if the jaw is flexible, when the shark's feeding, the teeth would fall right out when they bite into something hard, right? Yeah. And they do. They lose a lot of teeth. As a matter of fact, who knows how many teeth the shark could lose in his lifetime? Uh, this is interesting. Yes? Ten. Ten. That's a good guess. A little more than that. Yes? Three thousand. Three thousand. Another good guess. Even more than that. Yes? Five thousand. Five thousand. <laughs> Double it. Double it. Ten thousand. Ten thousand teeth. Good job. Ten thousand teeth. One shark could lose in his lifetime. Feeding. And how, how do they? How come they don't starve though? They're falling out. Well, this is how. I'll show you this job. They constantly are replacing their teeth. They have rows and rows of teeth. And all those teeth. This is from a bull shark. And when one falls out within two days, a new one pops in its place. So we find there's a lot of a lot of these prehistoric sharks. We can find the fossil teeth. We have different shaped ones 